Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on finding limit of uh, pi minus x times tangent x. Obviously, we're going to be using Laputeau's rule. I always wanted to call it a La hospital, but it's not Laputeau's rule. Our friend Laputeau here actually won over Bernoulli somewhere along in the max mathematical textbooks, some of them refer to as Bernoulli's rule. Anyway, in order for this to happen, we either have 0 times infinity, that's the case for us, we have a 0 here and this one blows up at infinity. We're going to convert this one into a ratio so we can use L'Hopital's rule properly. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to trick the system in that pi over 2 minus x, we're going to rewrite tangent as sine over cosine. Okay. From here, we're going to check so if we have 0 over 0 rule. As you know, sine curve looks like this, so at pi over 2 it's 1, so on top I have 0 times 1. On the bottom, cosine curve from up to 1, although we drop, dropped down to uh, 0 at pi over 2, so I have a 0 over 0 case. And yes, indeed, we can use L'Hopital's rule. Let's do this here. Lapitosa rule says when you have a um, decisive 0 over 0 form, what you can do is take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom, and hopefully you will end up with a 0, 0. If you do, you're going to take derivative again. Okay. Unfortunately, in life, we don't have a such easy bypass. So for here, we're going to take derivative of the top, we're going to use the product rule. Derivative of the first one is minus 1, leave the sine x alone, plus leave the first one alone, and then take derivative of the second one. This is different from the ratio rule. So here I'm going to have minus sine x on the bottom. Now here let's evaluate, let's see what we have. <clears throat> sine of pi over 2, as we said earlier, is 1, so minus 1 times 1 plus this chunk is going to go to 0 because pi over 2 minus pi over 2 is 0 times cosine x is also 0, which is a good thing. Minus 1 is on the bottom because we have minus sine x, which is at pi over 2, it's minus times 1, so it's high minus 1. And this one is equal to a positive 1, and what do you know? So the limit we were looking for, so we still have it on the top here, this limit using L'Hopital's rule, it's equal to 1. Well, that's how we handle this problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, please comment, or I'd appreciate a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.